It's now time for us to listen to the testifiers. The Bible tells us that they overcame by the word of their testimonies. And today we have some online testimonies as well as some live testifiers in the house. So we'll start with the testifiers, um, the online testifiers. The first one is from Brother Emmanuel from the United States who got a new job at a clinic and was undergoing various trainings. But a particular machine he was to work with suddenly stopped working and there's nothing he could, that could be done about it. Five days later, he went to the machine. He, he placed the handkerchief prayed on by, the father, by our Father in the Lord on the machine and he commanded it to work and declared that his, in his presence that the clinic will bring goodness. And to the glory of God, the machine began to work immediately. And as a result of that, his salary was raised when the management heard about it, about how he prayed on the equipment. Let somebody praise the Lord. Sister Olushola Odunlami from Nigeria. She had been trusting God for the restoration of all she had lost for years. During one of the Holy Ghost services in 2023, Daddy Gio said that God told him that there was someone who thought she had lost a great opportunity. But God said he had something else planned that was better and she should hold on to him. She further wrote a letter to Daddy Gio and got a response that she would share her testimony. And God did it. She got a job with a salary three times what she was currently earning. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We have a testimony from Sister Ade Kumbi Adedeje from Nigeria who had been battling with terrible diseases, diabetes and arthritis for over 10 years. During the Holy Ghost Congress in 2023, tagged divine repositioning, she said God repositioned her from illness to good health. Praise the Lord. She said, I, know, I now know the difference between illness and good health. Let somebody praise the Lord. Brother Mark Odegai from Nigeria had a lump on his right leg which caused him pain all the way up to his waist. He came to camp for the Holy Ghost Congress in 2022, seeking the face of the Lord for healing. When he returned home, he took the handkerchief prayed on by our daddy and the Lord during the program and tied it on his leg. Within days, the lump began to reduce in size and disappeared when all the pain was gone. Praise the name of the Lord. And the final online testifier is Brother Ade Dotsun Otasonya from the United Kingdom. In December 2023, he felt a sharp pain in his shoulder. The pain was so severe that it prevented him from sleeping and he was about to call emergency services. However, he remembered the handkerchief that was prayed on by our Father in the Lord during the 2023 Holy Ghost Congress, which he joined online. He placed it on his shoulder and instantly the pain left. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we will hear from the live testifiers. Praise the Lord. My name is Fortune Kalun Dukwe, and I'm here with my brother Daniel Kalun Dukwe. I want to testify for the goodness of the Lord upon our lives and for the salvation of our soul. On the 24th of um, December, after we came for the Holy Ghost service, after the Holy Ghost service, we were going for an assignment. Along the road, we encountered some unknown gunmen around um, Imo. So we got close. They started. They seemed like they were military in military uniform. We started shooting at us periodically. 
We tried to escape. I was the one driving. So at the point the car came to a stop, then we ran into the bush. I ran, my brother ran, and we kept on calling on the God of Adeboye. We kept on calling on the God of Dadijio. We reminded him of the Congress and his blessings. And to God be the glory, we were not hot, but there was a bullet that passed through his nose, but he wasn't killed. But after a while, we missed each other till the next day. In fact, we spent our Christmas inside the forest. But the next day, we came out, we were saved, we were delivered. I want to thank the great, good God for keeping us alive to give this testimony. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. During the last Holy Ghost Congress, that is uh, 2023, the last Holy Ghost Congress, the, our daddy in the Lord gave a prophecy that the storm is over. I started dancing because I've been having a running battle with sleep for over 50 years. He said something about sleep too. He gave a prophecy. I started dancing. Ever since then, I've been sleeping like a baby. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Somon Mioweye. I'm here to give God the glory for divine healing of my sight. Um, via Holy Communion yesterday night. For the past eight years, I've been having problems with seeing clearly I can't see from far, I can't see near object. Worst thing three years ago that I have to be using glasses. Without my glasses, I can't see, I can't really do anything. And yesterday, uh, during communion, I took the wine and I anointed my, my eyelids, both eyelids. Then after the service, I took my phone. Without increasing the brightness, I realized I could see. I felt, ah, okay, maybe it's just the phone. I took my Bible. I realized I could see clearly I, without the head of glasses. I could see from far, read objects from far. Then the daddy, Adeboye's book that I made photocopy of, I didn't use my glasses. I was re uh, reading it well. The one you use is handwriting to write. I didn't use my glasses. I was able to read well, read my Bible well. I've come to give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Daddy Adeboye, for being an instrument of rescue. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Joy. I'm from Salvation and Praise Parish, Lagos Province 15. Last year, in August, my daughter here, Flory, she was diagnosed of cancer of the blood, leukemia, at last suit. And the, the doctor said the treatment was going to be for two to three years. So we started chemotherapy. After the first stage of chemotherapy, they said she was not responding to treatment. They repeated the first stage, and they said she was not responding, that the next option was a bone marrow transplant. Miraculously, uh, it's, that was um, in November, then um, in November, that was in, in November, two days before the Holy Ghost service in November, we received a miraculous message from the camp inviting us to meet Daddy Gio for prayers. And we called my pastor, Pastor Femi Abolarin, to tell him, and he said we should make sure we, 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 we attend. And then we were here for Holy Ghost service. We, where we met Daijio, he laid hands on her and prayed for her. Then we went back to the hospital, the doctors admitted us, and the next day, my husband and I just decided that how can we be back to the hospital after the laying of hands? Does that mean that we don't have faith? So we told them to discharge us, that we are going to, uh, for prayers, that since doctors have failed, we want to call on God. We brought her to, to, to the redemption camp, and we're here for seven days praying. My pastor said we should make sure we take her to open heavens. We took her to open heavens. We brought her to new auditorium. Sometimes we'll be very few people like four praying here, old auditorium. And after um, the seven days, we went home. In December, we received another miraculous message for another laying of hands, and we were so surprised. We came during the Holy Ghost service. That was on Wednesday. After, um, before the deliverance service in the morning and that laid hands on her, my entire family, and prayed for us. So 
in, um, in January, that was last month, we went to check again, and there was no more cancer in her body. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Okay. Praise the Lord. My name is Iyesaga Paul, formerly Okusaga. I'm from Lagos Province 71. I want to thank the Almighty God for the salvation of my soul. And I want to thank God because I've been battling for promotion for 22 years as a full-timer. I worked in Bakasi Peninsula and various other places like Borono and Kwara State. And I thank God that during divine repositioning, Daddy said there's somebody here is the only one that can understand. You are not going to get double, but you are going to get triple. I thank God that I got triple promotion, and I give God all the glory that this stagnation that has made me turn from somebody that was sleeping on the bed to be joyfully sleeping on the floor. I thank God that God saved me. I thank God that he repositioned me, and I thank God that he helped my family to be able to attain what they need in life. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank Daddy for responding to our numerous letters for assistance. And to Mommy Gio, whenever I called, she would answer. She would ask me, who is that? I said, it's Bakasi Pastor. And she will deal with whatever situation that was happening then. I really give God all the glory. I give God all the honor that God did not allow stagnation to destroy my family, to destroy the ministry. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Kola Ishola. I'm from Lagos Province 12. On 25th of January, during this current 50 days fasting and prayer, I was going to the church just for the evening prayer meeting. As I alighted at the bus stop, I saw a group of people shouting, help, help. By the time I got there, I saw a man lie down, lifeless. I managed myself to the crowd. I lay hand on this man on the floor. I started praying. I remember that he said, last Holy Ghost Congress, that you shall lay hand on a dead person and you will arrive. To the glory of Almighty God. Within the space of five to ten minutes, this man started breathing, started coughing, started coughing. I lifted him up from the, from the ground, rested is back on my knee. I was still praying, speaking in tongues. Suddenly, the guy started breathing and was coughing. To the glory of Almighty God, I found out that the man was hale and hearty after all this restoration. To the glory of Almighty God, that the Adeboye, I return glory to you because I got that inspiration. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We have heard diverse healings, different types of miracles, deliverance from armed robbers, healing of insomnia, the receiving of sight. You know that when a child is sick, even the parents are sick. Healing of children. We've seen people, their captivity has been turned around with promotion. And we've heard about the raising of the dead. Let's rise up and praise God. Let's give him glory. Let's honor him. Let's declare his majesty. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for showing your strength on our behalf. Thank you for coming through for us again. Thank you for showing that you are the Lord that's still concerned about his people. What a great God you are. What a powerful God you are. We bless your name indeed. Thank you, O oh God. 
thank you that we can depend on you. Thank you that we can rely on you. You are good. All that you do is good. Take all the glory, most high God. We worship and adore you. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed and given thanks. Amen.